Hi, this is David with Mad Bros Media. I'm here at Olympic Film Society with the legendary Shabadu. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing excellent. Thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, is it your uh, first time in Washington? Yeah, actually, and I'm having a splendid time. I've, I've gone to, uh, through Tacoma. I visited a dance school earlier today. I, I think it's called the uh, Olympia Dance Center mm -hmm. and uh, did a TV show. Uh, oh, awesome. So uh, I'm just really excited about this event today. That's good, and we're all excited that you're here too. Yeah, so you have influenced tons of. I mean, dancers. You know, you know your illustrious career of dancing. You inf influenced so many dancers over the years uh, throughout the whole world. I'm. Mean, when you were starting out, who was your influences when you were starting out? Well, I had a number of them. Uh, first and foremost, you know, was uh, Sammy Davis Jr., Bo Jangles, um, believe it or not, David Ruffin from The Temptations, uh, Cab Calloway. The entire cast of West Side Story, uh, Donald O'Connor, uh, Russ Tamlin, the name, he's the one that stood out the West Side Story. Um, it's just a, Ray Bolger. God, I mean, Ray Bolger is the, is the scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. We're talking about something spectacular there. Um, it's just, you know, a number, Fred Astaire. I can't forget about Fred Astaire or the Nicholas Brothers or Gene Kelly. Oh, my God, I could just go on and on. But I had tons of influences. But my, but my main influence was my mom. Oh, really? She was a dancer as well? No, she wasn't. But she influenced me to, to pursue my dreams, to believe in myself. And uh, she's just my greatest source of inspiration. Yeah, since the, you know, the late 70s, there's, there has been the you know, street dance, the beginning of street dance, and later on b-boying in the early 80s and stuff, breakdancing. Um, it's, it's, it's evolved so much over the years. Uh, what do you, what's your opinion on it? What do you have to say about how much has come so far, you know, up to this point? I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of dancing that's going on in the world. that's really, really good. And, you know, there's some that are just a little disappointing. I mean, I, I would like, if, if I had my druthers, I, I would like for dance to really focus on the individual style of the person opposed to this group sort of dynamics that's happening now where everybody's moving in sync, perfect sync. In order to move in perfect sync, one would have to give up himself. And it's cool, but it's just so much of it. I, I prefer the, the, the days when, you know, the creation days when, you know, I knew when this guy came from a particular neighborhood, I, I felt his pain or her pain. I felt their struggle. I don't feel the struggle of any dancer today. I'm more sitting back like watching fish in an aquarium oh that's i i think i can agree with you and to an extent yeah. I'm not, I'm not, yeah but there's some you know yeah. some amazing dancers out there like you know of course yeah. uh, can you tell us how you went from being one you know this amazing street dancer to go getting your iconic role as ozone in breaking oh god i mean do we have two or three months or so to talk about that because there's a, there's a long and story journey that led up to my eventual uh, casting as Ozone and Breaking and Breaking 2. Uh, but to make a long story short, I, you know, I was just, you know, danced my entire life, was in the right place at the right time, and I had the right moves, the right look, and the right attitude to lead the rebel yell. We're street dancers. And uh, that's, the, that's the yell heard around the world. It shook up the world, and, 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 and people rallied around street dance and you know and hip-hop culture as a whole uh, throughout your whole dancing career i'm sure you've probably met you know several amazing people and then you just mentioned all your influences and stuff living or dead if you had a chance to dance with somebody who, who do you what would you say it would be Ooh. i would i would love to dance with cap calloway yeah, he was just like this is like a bad dude. Yes, he's he's a bad dude. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then and he could sing too. So yeah, no, like, I mean, but I, if you look at my career as well, I mean, I, I for the most part, I, I pattern a lot of my stuff after Cap Calloway as well. So he was a big influence. But I just loved his crazy style and the way he was. You know, he was like he was like rock and roll meets 1940s bebop meets. He was. He was, a, he was like a punker or something, throwing his hair around and just acting crazy. It was, uh, yeah. he, was, he was a sight to behold. I love Cap Calloway. Yeah. 
Okay, the final question for you is, uh, so, you know, you just had this great career as a dancer and you're a movie star. A, what's up next for Shabadu? You know, I, I like to look at life as, as a work in progress and that it's constantly unfolding and revealing itself to me. So I, I, I just put out in the universe that I'm open for any, any credible idea that's out there. And that's not to say that I don't, you know, I write screenplays and I have projects, several projects in development and I'm working on my memoir, my book, uh, The King of Crenshaw, which is really a trilogy book. Uh, the first one is the King of Crenshaw, feel, laugh, cry, shout, dance. Second one is the King of Crenshaw, the beginning. And the third one is the King of Crenshaw, the legacy. So I'm working on that and the accompanying uh, documentary. And I've written another break-in film, uh, which I'm, I'm now actively pursuing and seeking financing for that. To do it. I think the world's ready for another break-in film. Uh, yeah, so. I, th I read up about that. I'm really excited yeah. about that, too. And you're reprising your ozone role, right? Correct? Yes, I would. I would be reprising my ozone role and doing something kind, kind of different, uh, but still keeping the brand intact where people understand where we're going and, 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 and how 1984 factors in to 2016, because that's a reality as well. We live in 2016, but how do we bring the spirit of 1984 and infuse that in today's world? That's, good. That's the task, and I think, I, I think I've struck a, a, a balance that I think my fan base will, will really appreciate, enjoy, and I think new people that are not really aware of the break-in films, it will be something in it for them as well. Well, we'll look forward to that. Um, I want to thank you so much, Shabadu. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you in future endeavors, and hopefully we'll see you, you know, in your workshop and stuff here in town. And This has been David with Mad Bros Media.